Well, hello from a very beautiful place here in France. So we're in the Rhône-Alpes region in the Loire area in a place called Renaissance. So we're just outside this beautiful village, which you can see a little bit of behind me here. Not so much the village, but the environ, which is where we're staying with our delightful friend, um, Stephanie, and her gorgeous family, four kids. And which is a continuous learning curve when it comes to French lessons. <laughs> it's a constant download, and I'm absolutely loving it. So feeling extremely blessed. So for this week, we're talking all about freedom, lifestyle freedom. And for me, when I first started realizing my lack of it, especially, um, well, it's probably, probably been, been there for me for about the last 30 years and started to really decide that I needed to take some action and do something about it back in 2002 after a big car accident where I was crossing a pedestrian crossing and I was knocked over and lost my income kind of overnight or well, that night and this was my kind of this was my turning point where I realized that actually I had no freedom even with the business that I did have um, a large successful osteopath multidisciplinary integrative um, health center and so it was at that point that I started to really ponder well what if there is a way to be able to create freedom for myself with my lifestyle so I can travel so I can contribute so I can have a richer life beyond looking at at the end of my own nose and meeting my own needs and so this is where the idea of um, lifestyle freedom financial freedom um, really started taking hold for me and so we're all at a different point on our journey and I respect that that's so for all of us and I'm curious to know what's the what's the what's your answer to the question that I asked myself which is and in fact my husband Chris asked us together as we're sitting down to plan okay so what we're going to do next if we're if this is one of our goals is to create freedom for ourselves in our life how much is enough and I was really surprised because I had this big numbers in my head about how much we'd need to have put, put aside and how much income we'd need. And you may well be surprised. So this is an exercise it's so worth doing, figuring out, okay, so at the moment, how much is going out each month? How much am I spending? And that might be on um, things that are on tick, on higher purchase. It might be just the simple expenses, phone, rent, electric or, or mortgage. Um, all the bills, gas, running the car, that kind of thing. How much is it? And if when you've got the ideal lifestyle for yourself, will you have those same bills that you're going to need to cover? And if not, what kind of bills will they will they be? And guesstimate them. You can pop online and do a little bit of research and then tot that up and then see how much that is. You may well be surprised. So tune in this week for the Live with Fee, where we'll be diving in deeper to this very topic. And it's a golden one. It's a golden question to ask ourselves is it may not be, the answer to it may not quite be what we think. It certainly wasn't for me. It was very revealing and actually a sense of freedom immediately with the answer. So looking forward to hearing from you in the meantime with your thoughts on that before I see you on Live with Fee this very week. Ciao for now.